Welcome back to Heroes on Our Island. I'm Mike Stevens. We are coming to you this edition from Lindbrook, which is often called Lindbrook, USA, because there is no other city or town in the whole country with that same name. We're off to North Belmore now for the story of a couple who, inspired by their own daughter's battle with a rare disease, is now trying to help other families going through the same thing. Rich Barabi has that. <coughs> no, Kat. Vincent and Catherine Gaynor were like a lot of newlyweds just starting out. The Wontaw couple had all of the same goals and interests that many young couples dream about. When we were younger, when we first got together, we wanted a nice house, nice cars, we wanted to be able to go on vacations. Once you have a child like Sophia, a child with a disability, it changes. And you actually see what's important in life. Two and a half years ago, the Gainers had a shift in priorities. That's when Catherine gave birth to the couple's first child, beautiful little Sophia. But just weeks after she was born, something wasn't quite right, and the Gainers knew it. Doctors told Vincent and Catherine that their newly born daughter had a disease called SMA and would be lucky to see her second birthday. Vincent remembers hearing her diagnosis as if it were yesterday. Complete shock. Uh, our family drove home, Sophia in the back, and uh, we went into our, our bedroom. We closed the blinds and we just cried. SMA stands for Spinal Muscular Atrophy. The SMA Foundation describes the illness as a genetic neuromuscular disease characterized by muscle atrophy and weakness. It says the disease is the leading cause of death among infants and toddlers. To make matters even more troubling, Sophia was diagnosed with type 1 SMA, the most severe diagnosis, and one that meant she would be unable to walk or even sit up. Children who were diagnosed with type 1 um, generally live, 50% die in the first six months, and the rest generally don't make it past two years of age. After the shock of her diagnosis subsided and their tears had washed away, Vincent and Catherine decided to stand up for their daughter and give her a fighting chance. That's when Vinny made a promise to his wife that the two of them will never forget. I promised my wife that I would, I would save Sophia, and I believe that. And I, uh, I believe that with my heart, and I think that is what has kept us going. It was very hard for me, but it had a lot to do with my husband's personality. It's just the way he is. He's very driven, and as soon as he had an inkling that she had this disease, he just began researching. For seemingly hours on end, Vincent studied and read everything he could about SMA. He made phone calls to other parents who had children suffering from the disease and searched high and low for medical experts in the field. But the gainers weren't content to rest on their laurels and let the doctors do all of the work. Instead, they drove to Wisconsin to meet with a physician who specializes in the disease and they learned everything they could in order to care for their daughter. She taught us the therapies, the chest PT, the corpuses, the BiPAP, all the equipment that she needed, how to use it, proper settings, and things like that. She gave us uh, so much support, and we were able to take that back home with us. Vincent transformed his garage into a nursery that essentially doubles as a hospital room. Large shipments of medical supplies arrive on their doorstep monthly. The couple does receive help from visiting nurses during the day, but for the most part, it's up to Vincent and Catherine to care for Sophie, and it's their pleasure to do so. We want to do everything. If that means suctioning her, changing her feeding tube, making her food, coughing her, changing her trach, you know, cleaning her equipment, that's our baby and that's what she needs. So, I mean, I want to be every part of that. But their efforts don't stop in their own home. In 2009, the Gainers took their plight public and started their own foundation, simply titled the Sophia's Cure Foundation. Our decision when Sophia was diagnosed was to really just make our lives public. We felt that was the biggest way to make a difference, to make awareness, to let other families know you're not alone. When they started the foundation, Vinny made another promise to his wife. He pledged to raise $100,000 in their efforts to find a cure. In short order, the foundation doubled that total. Now, just a little more than two years after starting the foundation, the Gainers have raised close to $1.2 million in grants for research. And the couple is encouraged by new developments in gene therapy research that they believe may lead to a cure in short order. My belief as a parent uh, is that we are going to cure newly diagnosed kids starting next year. If the Gainers sound like positive people, it's because they are. 
In fact, they pride themselves on their positivity, not just for their own lives, but for Sophia's as well. And while they realize that there are no guarantees when it comes to Sophia's health and her future, their goals reach far beyond what used to be Vinny's garage. If we cannot correct our daughter, if we cannot fix her, if we can prevent another family from ever walking down our, our path and taking this journey down SMA, if we can prevent that, we've done something good here. Now, as you've seen, the Gainers have spent plenty of time and energy taking care of their daughter and hopefully finding a cure one day. And they say nothing would make them happier than a time when their hard work would no longer be needed. We want to be sitting here and have a treatment or cure for this disease, and we want to announce to the world that we are closing Sophia's Cure Foundation because that will mean that this disease has ended. I don't want this to be my career. If, if this becomes my career, I fail. The gainers are smart enough not to think too far in the future. Unfortunately, they've learned that lesson the hard way. But they are sure of one thing. Sophia and her younger brother Jackson will continue to be brought up in a home where love is on full display. And that's something no disease will ever be able to take away. Sophia might, might have another year here. She might have 50 years here. I want to make sure the whole time she's here, she enjoys every second of it. Well, the Gators believe every child affected by SMA should have the chance to live a long and normal life.